hello hello and welcome to the channel today we are here with the guys from Wessex Marine to have a look at this <laughs> sort of mini ship Targa Botnia Targa 27.2 I'm just going to take a walk to the end of the pontoon here to give you a view of this boat because it is just obviously finished built as I'm sure everybody knows these days but it's such a practical, such a cleverly designed, genuinely little ship. Now, I think I've mentioned this before, I've been in the Channel Islands banging into waves when these Botnia targets have come powering through us as if it's flat calm. So they are super practical. And this is sort of the baby of the range. It's not quite the smallest. And again, you can see the level of practicality. No teak, just grippy bathing platform. And this is the other thing I love. Now you're probably thinking this is a hatch to put your, your mooring lines in, but no. As somebody who's actually had a rope around my prop before, how convenient is it that you can open the hatch, lift your leg up, <laughs> excuse the phrase, and uh, get uh, untangle the ropes from your propeller. You've also, I take a step back here, you've also got these nice double door gates that open, giving you really easy access. A couple of fender baskets on both sides, and you'll notice the dark blue hull colour, we'll come back to that when we go inboard, but straight into the cockpit area, massive engine hatch, which we'll pick up on the way back out, and again deck shower here, a couple of big storage lockers on both sides, again covered in that anti-slip, a couple of pop-out fold seats on both sides, and then Three steps takes you up to the flybridge. Flybridge is an interesting word, I think they call it a half fly, but you get a couple of seats up here, little grab handle, big recess space there for whatever you fancy, helm seat there, and your helm station with wheel, throttles, instrumentation down the back there, fold repented displays, and your bow thruster. But what you do get from up here when the weather's a bit leery, it's really, really good visibility. You can see right the way down both sides of the boat. And if you're going stern to, phenomenal. It's almost like a fishing platform. Phenomenal view of the aft of the boat. And then quite logically up here on your radar tower, you've got your radar, your lights, and your VHF antenna. So let's take a turn around and head back inside. Or not inside, let's go around the decks first. So again, because it's a proper boat, really decent size side decks plenty wide enough to walk right the way around pop-up sections here so you can board off the side of the boat rather than have to go over the stern or the bow as you go forward the deck slopes down logically being because it's self-draining down here water input down there and then a forward seating area so if you want to you can deck this whole area out with cushions there is storage under all of these sections here we're going to have a look at this one in particular because in here one it's a big locker two it's got your fold out table so that little table there pops out just catch this bad boy shut and drops down into that space there giving you the ability to dine forward in that little foot there under here another vast storage space full of the usual as you can imagine boat show clobber And then right the way forward here, you can see open and available for access is that forward anchor. Lovely solid cleats and chunky fair leads. And you can also see that beautiful practical black D rubber strip that runs around the outside of the boat. Anchor switch there. And then access to your chain locker and motor should you need to. So we'll go back down the other side deck into the saloon. Now, as you probably notice, there's no access to the back of the saloon through, through the after the boat as you'd normally get on a more conventional style of boat. But you do get twin side doors, so you can go in from either side deck. That takes you straight into this area here. Now we're going to do the helm station first. So helm station seat, which slides backwards and forwards. This helm section here, you can actually pull the pin out. I can't do it with one hand. And you can move the helm towards you. So this is effectively stand up mode. So you're standing up, wheels in front of you, incredible view of what the boat and the weather's doing in front of you. But equally, if you're sitting down, you can drop the bar down, sit yourself in the seat, 
pivot that forward and it's a more car driving style. On the opposite side, you have a dining over here. Now this seat, let's just drop this back, drops back like so. So when you're going along, it's a navigator and a everybody facing forward seat. When you're dining, folds back the other way, he says, like so. Dining in here, and obviously you can imagine that table folds out. And equally on the other side, you've got another little section there and that table pops up. There would normally be that seat there, would be sitting down there so you get a row of seats facing forwards, but it's lifted up for the boat show. So we can jump down inside and see this rather nifty little double cabin. So there's a single berth heading all the way down there with legroom in there. And there's a big double berth over that side. And this is quite neat. Look, when you buy the boat, if you have a painted hull, they give you touch-up paint for the gel coat for your hull colour that we looked at outside. All the wood's solid, antique and is lovely. Fridge in there, bit of storage down there. And then lift up this section here. And you have your wet room, or your bathroom, or your heads. Loo down there, little frosted window, storage underneath there, and vanity unit with mirror. So there you go, we'll just quickly finish with a peek of the engine bay, and then we're all done. Just going to here we go. So in here we have a rather fabulous Volvo Penta single D6 400. There are other options. I mean, just for the sake of it, this D6 380 is going to give you around about 45 knots. There's a 440 version of the same engine, which is going to give you 38 knots. But interestingly, you can also get, if you wanted, on the back, a couple of Mercury 300 V8 Verados. And that's going to give you circa 45 knots if you wanted outboards rather than inboards. So there you go. Thank you very much to the guys at Wessex Marine for letting us have a look around their boat. Do please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Thank you for watching.